Santa, I want to know what you did to Scrooge. Oh, well, my name's Fox Knight, so and I'm Ben Fox, and welcome to another DuckTales Woo video review. This time, M Mount Nevarast, or what is it? The Impossible. The Impossible Summit of Mount Neverest. Where basically. <laughs> <laughs> what basically this is this is connected to Christmas because Louis said why didn't we stay home and just you know stay up late drinking cocoa waiting for Santa <laughs> also Scrooge then answers Santa's not allowed in my house <laughs> not allowed in my home he knows what he did <laughs> I want to know what the fuck Santa did <laughs> what did Santa do to a young Scrooge um but basically they're gonna climb their all the Duckburg version of Mount Everest, but it's called Mount Neverest, which is a play on words. Which also I thought that the mountain Kilimanjaro was a play on words, thinking it was like kill a man Jaro, but then it's like no, it's actually just actually just a mountain called Kilimanjaro. But in any case, um, basically Scrooge is taking the kids to go climb this mountain that no one has ever climbed before. It's unclimbable. It's no one's ever climbed it. But of course, but apparently, of course, there's still uh, tourists. As a bunch of tourists are there, there's a tourist like thing at the at, at the end of the at the end, what, the, the bottom of the mountain. Which um, there's also even a myth or a story about a a myth about a a climber who 75 years ago climbed the mountain and got the farthest he ever could, but had to but died because he had to save all. A ninny. The never rest ninny. And, of course, later on we find out that actually was Scrooge himself. But it turns out it wasn't so much that he was scared and then the guy had to save him. The guy was actually more of an a-hole and said, I'm going to climb it, you're going to, but you're slowing me down. So he cut Scrooge loose and let Scrooge almost die. And this guy then also died. <laughs> but, um... So Scrooge basically then goes up there with Huey, Dewey, and Webby because Launchpad got swindled in thinking he had some kind of disease because of all this equipment he has that's making him think he has the disease. And he fell back on thing and Louie just said, F it, there's no treasure up there. Uh, <laughs> which then leads to Scrooge climbing up the mountain. But everyone keeps getting turned around. They all keep getting turned around for some reason. Always passing this demonic looking rock they call Bunny Rock. Um... And it turns out it's because there are actually wormholes all over the all over the mountain. That's what's keeping people from getting to the top. Which also, now that I think about it, they could have they could have kind of had um, uh, a reference to the uh, what is it called the the mountain in um in the Animal Kingdom in uh, Florida. They could have had a reference to that a little bit. Now that I think about it, eh, but it's fine. God, I freaking love that. Place. I want to go back to Disneyland. <laughs> I love, I love those places. But in any case, um, I've only been to like two of them. But um, in any, well, never mind. I'm, uh, in any case, Scrooge basically, and they're heading up the mountain and they're getting confused. Huey's saying we should turn back, but Scrooge's like, no, yeah, Nick, yeah, silly Nitty. we gotta keep moving forward. Which also, I do love this kind of dark joke where they find a cave. That Scrooge just knew happened. Huey kind of figured out, you're the mini guy, because he Scrooge knew where this un cave was in Uncharted Mountain, because this mountain has been in Uncharted. No one's made it to the top. And they find the guy, because he has a mustache, so has a skeleton, who left Scrooge, who was supposed to be the guy who got the farthest. And I love Scrooge's thing. He's like, this is the man who tried to almost kill me and made it furthest up the mountain. Walks over his leg and goes, now I'm the one who's gotten hot, hot, <coughs> furthest up the mountain. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's kind of dark, but kind of amazing. <laughs> but, but basically, they make it to, closer to the top, and they find out there are wormholes everywhere, especially when there's a like a picture of some guy of some guys like going through a wormhole, their head popping up somewhere else. Screw, they basically make it almost to the top. Scrooge is gonna make, wants to get up there no matter what, even though it's putting everyone in danger and everyone's probably gonna die. I also forgot to mention, um, Webby and Dewey are trying to find the perfect spot. 
so that they, they can um sled down the mountain, which I'm like, which thinking, yeah, that is that would be kind of amazing, assuming you don't fall off a cliff and die. But yeah, kind of amazing that you will slide right down that mountain. But um, but Scrooge tries to make it to the summit and even gets so close, but there's a portal that will never let him get up there. Because every time he jumps, it's like every time he jumps towards it, he jumps through a portal and lets him jump out the other side because there's wormholes all over the place. And also, there's a cool little thing where Webby and Dewey are running around and teleporting everywhere. And Huey basically says, sometimes you gotta just let stuff go. Because Scrooge says, no, I have to make up there. I, don't, I can't be another, the whiny, never rest mini for another 75 years. And stuff like that. Which also just begs the question, how old is Scrooge? And also, I love how he's probably like 100. And he is like, still, he is like one of the most athletic. And not only, he's one of the most athletic skilled, smart kid characters in this entire show, even though he is, like, 80 or 90 years old. Because apparently he made his first million 75 years ago, and I'm going to assume he's, like, 20. So that means he would then be 7, 8, 9, like, 95, 95 years old at least. <sighs> so, yeah, Scrooge is kind of freaking old, but freaking amazing. Um, but, yeah, so Scrooge... But basically, this one, I do love this because it's delving more into Scrooge's own personality, which I really do like because then this is like the question, like showing that this character is a flawed character. Scrooge is a flawed character. Yeah, he's skilled. He has all this money and stuff like that. But you can see why people would eventually leave him. He is that like, kind of similar to a Doctor Who character where it's like, yeah, he has almost everything you could ever want everything you would ever want but there is that thing that one thing that he has that could drive everyone away and that is basically like kind of i'm screwed determination and it's like he's gonna make it there no matter what happens what and that almost could lead to some people's deaths and probably will probably is what led to um the kit to huey dewey and louie's mother vanishing or disappearing for whatever reason most likely it has some connection because of scrooge's own thing because of scrooge's determination or scrooge's stubbornness that is what so probably he's slowly trying to kill him uh, slowly he probably killed her or did something wrong who knows but this is what pushed donald away and pro and most likely killed her or whatever um and I, I mean, I do like that. I do really like that they're showing this. It's Scrooge isn't, again, like just a mink, which I don't think the first Duck has ever made him out to be like that. But it is a, where he is, this Scrooge is stubborn. This is a Scrooge. This is, yeah, he's heroic when he wants to be. He's smart. He's clever. And he's rich. But... He is stubborn, and that stubbornness is what will most likely push people away. And I do like that bit. But eventually, Huey does make Scrooge see, say, yeah, okay, yeah, we, we should just go. But when Scrooge pulls out the sled from, like, where it's been wedged into the mountain, it starts an avalanche, they all ride down the sled, and they make it to the bottom. Which also is a side story where, again, um, a lot of guys crawling around thinking he's dying when he's actually in a sauna. But basically, they were explaining... What, whatever Launchpad had, what they call it, I think, Never Rest Fever, where your eyes apparently freeze up and you can't see and you suddenly feel warm, but you're actually slowly dying. I'm like, Disney, you're walking a fine line of telling kids that, uh, you know, uh, frostbite doesn't happen. <laughs> because, yeah, when you, at least from, I don't know from experience, but I'm assuming from, you know, everything I've been told, and Shaman King, that event, if you get cold enough, your body, you get cold enough, or frostbite, it starts to burn. <laughs> and that's kind of what Kowal was saying. It's like, you know, yeah, never rest fever. Probably, it could probably exist in this world. But I know it's heck, hypothermia does. And also frostbite. So take that what you will. Um, so kids, if you're outside and it's cold and you start feeling a burning sensation where you shouldn't be. <laughs> burning sensation. Basically, if your fingers start turning blue and it's burning, you probably have frostbite. Um, uh, but in any case, 
or any part of you that turns start turning blue and starts burning, probably frostbite. Or you dyed it blue and you held it over a fire. But in any case, um, there are also some cool things I like. Again, like uh, Louis finds out that well, I got swindled. He's like, no one swindles my family. I'm like, oh, he sees Launchpad's family. That's freaking sweet. <laughs> Where he says, no one swindles my family except me. <laughs> also, I do love when um, Launchpad says. Where Scrooge asks, Launchpad, where'd you get all that stuff? That is my, my terrible I, Scottish accent. And Launchpad goes, Eh, hey, Mr. Sh Mr. D, I bought a piano using Louis' uh, company credit card. Louis doesn't have a company credit card. Oh. Well, I used her credit card. <laughs> Louis gave me her credit card. <laughs> like, ha! But, um... And also, Louis then tricks the guy into saying that there is no such thing as uh, never rest fear when Launchpad thinks he's slowly dying, but it actually isn't. But, um, also, also when the, the avalanche comes, Launchpad takes off the goggles and looks at it and she's like... <laughs> but yeah, no, the episode was fun. I like this. Um, I don't know how much... Because what is it? Some, again, I read somewhere that all these episodes are out of order, which I can believe some of them are. This one, I don't feel like it's really that all out of order since this does match up with a Christmas a little bit... A little bit with a Christmas episode, if only because Louis mentions Christmas in the name in the episode or the the movie or the show. That's probably the only thing they could maybe add that later. I doubt it, but yeah. But um, it's cool. This is a, this is a fun little adventure. I kind of like ones where like uh, like the mummy one where it's kind of like and like his actual supernatural thing. But yeah, this is still cool too. Well. Anything, this is still a good episode. Again, there is a very similarity between this and Gravity Falls, where it's like, strange things going on. Like, literally the only difference is that Dewey doesn't have, or Huey doesn't have a freaking journal to mark. Actually, never mind. He does have a journal that marks all his down. We learned that in um, the one with the terrors of the Terraformians. He does have one. This is Woodchuck, whatever, book. That actually has, where he writes down all the weird stuff. So, yeah. He does have his own journal. But in any case, um, the episode was fun. I liked it. Tell me if you guys in the comments below. Thank you for watching the videos that I've done. Links are on my face. The ones are on there somewhere. And this is awesome. I love it. I can't wait for more DuckTales. Even though this and I think the Star Versus, like, these are like the last two episodes. These are the last episodes of the show for right now. I don't think they said when they're going to start showing new episodes again. So... Lord knows when that's gonna happen, but um, come on, don't. Okay, there you go. Wait. Ha ha! Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you have videos that I've done, links are on Facebook or other somewhere to check in the comments below, and we will see you later. Aha! See portals. I knew there was something in the part of this.